Good day, Junior Tickies. I'm Mrs. Brimaker. We're going to look now at Activity 3. The following information was extracted from the counting records of Go Sports. The business sells soccer balls, clothes and soccer equipment. Required? Record the transactions which occurred during July 2024 directly in the creditors' ledger account. Question number two. Complete the creditors' list on 31 July 2024. Third question, complete the creditors control account in the general ledger for July 2024. And then question number four, calculate the value of the trading stock purchased during July. Use the table to complete your answer. So take note that this is asked a little bit different than the activities that we've done before. Now we're going to post it directly into the creditors ledger account. And from there, we're going to complete the general ledger, the creditors control account. So starting with step number one is to write the opening balances. No, the date is not incorrect. The end of last month, which is 30 June 2024, is the opening balances on the 1st of July 2024. So we start by writing account rendered and it goes straight to balance. Do not put anything under debit or credit. Now you would notice fix it repairs is creditors ledger number four, but there's no creditors ledger number four. This means that this is a new creditor for the business. Transactions for July 2024. On day three, made an online payment to Walker stores to pay half the amount owed to them on the 1st of July 2024. This means that we're going to go to Walker stores. This happened on day three. The code is number two. Because it says made an online payment, my source document is bank statement. Half the amount owed on the 1st of July means 34,200 divided by two. So the balance which is left over is 17,100. On day five, bought goods, 3,800, less 10% trade discount from Ali Traders and received an invoice, 145, renumbered to A1. Now remember that the fourth question was calculate the trading stock purchase. So if I were you, I would highlight every time when I see the words goods, merchandise, trading stock, inventory, because that will form part of your calculation for the last question. Right, so completing this transaction, we bought from Ali Traders, which is our creditor number one. This happened on day five. Invoice number A1, we need to renumber it. Receive 10% trade discount means that we only owed them 3,420. Our new balance, you should add that 3,220 to the 17,569. Why? Because our debt is going to increase. We bought on credit, so we owe them more money. On day 9, bought the following from Boston suppliers and received their invoice, number 25, inventory 5,600, subject to a 7% discount, equipment and packing material. So when completing the creditors ledger, I don't care what did we purchase? That's the whole purpose of a creditor's journal. I care about, but how much do we owe in total? So 5,600 times 93% means we bought inventory 5,208 plus 850 plus 1,070 means that in total we owe the supplier 7,128. This will now be invoice number A2. Your invoices was renumbered, so make sure that you just follow what is the next number. It must be in numeric order then. Our new balance, 32,928. 
day 11. Did an online payment to pay the following creditors. Alley Traders in full settlement of account on the 1st of July 2024. Alley Traders is our creditor number one. Online payment means bank statement to settle our account on the 1st of July. That means 17,569. So our new balance is 3,420. In Boston, Boston Suppliers is creditor number two. We made a payment of 5,000, sorry, of 14,000. Our new balance, 18,928. This you can really study. From the CPJ, our details will always be bank statement or EFT. If a payment is made, the amount will be debited. Why? Because we oversupply now less money. The next transaction said, Walker Stores sold soccer balls on credit to Go Sports for 5320 Received invoice number two. Walker Stores is creditor number three. This means on day 17, the next number is number three. That will be the source document number from the creditor's journal. On the credit side, we've purchased for 5320 Our new balance, 22420 And now it says, issued EFD 42 for 3860 in favor of superstores for trading stock 3100 and the remainder of packing materi material. So if it said EFT number 42, this means this is a cash payment transaction. We bought paying cash for it. We bought merchandise or trading stock and packing material. So this has nothing to do with any of these creditors' ledgers accounts. Day 21, received invoice 191 from Ali Traders to purchase soccer boots, 10,760 less 10% trade discount. Less 10% trade discount means that we're only going to pay 90% of that amount. That's the amount that we're going to owe. This happened on day 21. Invoice number, the next number is now A4. From the creditor's journal, 9,684. My new balance, 13,104. Then on the same day, it says the owner purchased new soccer balls or soccer shirts and soccer balls for 2,600 on credit from Walker stores for his son's soccer team. So the owner decided to purchase from our supplier Walker stores on the 21st. Invoice number A5 from the creditors journal 2,600. But this won't be trading stock for the business for his son's soccer team, which means this will be shown as drawings. It's a personal expense. My new balance, 25,020. Then on day 24, a proof of payment for 10,450 was sent to high tech suppliers for the purchase of a tablet. So a proof of payment means that this is a cash payment transaction that has nothing to do with the creditor's ledger. So we do absolutely nothing with it. On day 26, issued an EFT to Walker Stores in settlement of account to date. So Walker Stores is our creditor number three. On day 26, we settled our account, which means that we've paid it in full. But now I need to go and check the transactions. They issued EFT number 42, which means the next number would be number 43 from the CPJ. What is the outstanding balance? 25,020. This means that all of it was paid. So now we owe them nothing. 
on day 29, received an invoice from Boston traders for the following merchandise, 3,640 after 5% trade discount was granted, equipment, 5,800 of which 700 is in fact for the owner's personal use. This means now, don't get caught out. It says they after 5%. So this has already been deducted the 5%. So the amount that we owe is 3,640 plus 5,800. We purchase from Boston suppliers on day 29. Invoice, now the next number is number A6. For how much? 9,440. My new balance, 28,368. On day 30, fix it repairs issued go sports with invoice 87 for 57,600 for repairs done to the building and the building of a new storeroom. This is now our new creditor. We purchased from them by letting them doing repairs to the building as well the building of a new storeroom. So on day 30, invoice number A7 from the creditor's journal, the amount that we now purchased for was 57,600. So the balance is 57,600. Our next step, we can complete the creditor's list. The creditor's list is a list of all the balances at the end of the month which means we are just going to list them and we're going to add them together. So my new total is 99,072. Completing now the creditors control account in the general ledger. And now I don't have journals to post from, which means I need to use the creditors ledgers that I've just completed. So, we start with the opening balance, and this is what you need to understand. When we have transactions, we take it to their personal account, and we take the totals, and we post it to the creditor's control account. From the creditor's ledger, we complete the creditor's list. So if we add those together, it should be the same as the balance of my creditor's control account. And this is why we're just going to add them together to find the balance in the beginning. Posting now from the ledgers. And this is for you to understand that credit means that we've purchased on credit. Our debt will increase. If we credit it in the individual's account, it means we're going to credit it in the creditor's control account. So on the last day of the month, we are going to add all of that. Our details will be sundry account from the creditor's journal and the total is 95,192. Debit in the creditor's ledger means that a payment was made. We owed them less money. So to find out what was the total payment made to our creditors, we're going to add all the debit side and we're going to post it to the debit side in the creditor's control account. If a payment is made from the CPJ, our details is bank. Now we can balance the account, take the credit side minus the debit side, which means that our balance on the 1st of August 2024 is 99,072. And if we now look at our creditors list that we've just completed, it is exactly the same. If it's not the same, then we've made a mistake. And then we need to go and correct it. To find out what is the value of our trading stock which was purchased during July 2024, it means that we now need to look at all the transactions where the words goods merchandise, inventory, trading stock consist out of. So the first one was on day 5, 3,800 less 10% trade discount, and that's why we timed it by 90%. Then on day 9, 
5,600, subject to 7% discount, which means that we're only going to pay for 93% of that amount. Then, day 17, sold soccer balls to Go Sports. That is us. So, we soccer balls is what we are trading with. This means that is trading stock which we've purchased. And then it says, issued EFT number 42 for 3,860 in favor of superstores for trading stock 3,100 and the remainder packing material. So, on day 17, we've got a credit purchase. And we've got a cash purchase, but the amount for the trading stock was 3100 Then on day 21, we've purchased soccer boots, less 10% trade discount. And then it says the owner purchased new soccer shirts and soccer balls, but it's for the son's soccer team. So this won't form part of our trading stock that we've purchased. This will be regarded as drawings for the owner's personal use. So we're not going to include this in this transaction. Then day 29, bought merchandise, 3640 after 5% discount was granted. So in total, the purchase is 30372 So this is just asked a little bit differently, where we didn't need to post to the journals, we didn't need to complete the general ledger, so we go through the transactions and we find out what did we purchase or merchandise, inventory, trading stock, all of those is regarded as trading stock to find the trading stock which was purchased. Thank you very much. You will never regret working hard. Have a wonderful day.